Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dr. Andrew Kim MD, and today's video is on my 75 hard day 61 update. That's right, 61 days down, which means I only have two weeks left. That's right, two weeks left in the 75 hard challenge by Andy Frazella. That's right. Now to celebrate when I finish, not if, but when I finish this challenge, we are going to do another giveaway. So stay tuned to the end of this video to find out the details of how you could be the winner of a $100 Amazon gift card or two of the runners up that'll also receive a $50 Amazon gift card. So stay tuned for those details. So let's jump right in. So day 61 is complete and here are my updates. So again, I'm six foot one and I started off at 235 pounds before I started the challenge, which basically gives me a BMI or body mass index of 31.0. After 61 days, I am now at 211.5 pounds. 211.5 pounds. So that's 23 and a half pounds loss. And my BMI went down from 31.0 all the way now to 27.9. Awesome, awesome, awesome progress. But again, it's not just about the numbers. So some highlights uh, from this week on progress that I've been making. Well, when it comes to physical uh, fitness and exercise, look, again, I went from being a couch potato uh, not wanting to run at all. I hate running. And now for my morning runs, uh, you know, lately I've been able to go 40, 45 minutes and running about four, just over four miles on my runs. And look, I'm still, not, I'm still not a fan of running, but just the fact that I was able to do it and just using these like couch to 5k, you know, couch to 10k apps, um, it's just, it really encourages me and it motivates me. And it also proves, uh, you know, why this is called a mental toughness program. It's not just about weight loss and physical fitness, but just trying to push yourself to work through these mental hurdles and mental roadblocks. Because look, before this, if you asked me, I would say, look, at this point in my life, at my age, there's no way I'm going to get into running uh, there's no way I'm going to be running multiple miles a day. It's hard enough for me to be, you know, uh, forced to run one mile, uh, let alone a few miles, uh, but now doing it multiple times a week in the mornings. And, you know, each morning, it's still not easy. I'm running, and I can't tell you how many times during those 40, 45 minutes in my head, I'm like, ah, this is far enough. This was good enough. I can't do it today. I'm too tired. I'll do a better run tomorrow or the next day. And you just kind of have to push through that. And uh, I've been able to do that and make some progressions. I'm not breaking any speed records, but look, you know, it's good for my physical fitness. It's good for my health. So, you know, I'm, I'm proud and I'm, and I'm happy that I've been able to do what I've been able to do so far. And hopefully we just keep it going. Uh, other things that are not related to, you know, physical fitness or weight loss. Again, this is a mental toughness program. And part of it is about reading books. And some of the books that I've been reading have been focused on, you know, reaching goals uh, about uh, money management, financial freedom. So look, there have been a few things that I've pushed off for uh, probably years and have been meaning to get around to and... Uh, just, you know, have more influence over, take more control of. And one of those things is just my own personal finances. Um, so literally in the last two to three weeks, uh, you know, I've paid down the vast majority of my credit card debt. Um, I'm in the middle of doing a refinance uh, for our mortgage uh, at historically low rates. Um, because look, it's just a matter of filling out application, getting paperwork together, um, you know, I kind of pushed that off, uh, but with rates so low, I'm just like, you know, let's go ahead and do this. So taking care of that, uh, I finally, I've been talking about it. You could ask my wife, I've been talking about it for years, but I finally started a, a college savings fund for Tyler, our son. He's going into kindergarten, so I got plenty of time, but you know, I said, I want to start early and just, you know, put a little away each month 
So that can kind of grow. But I've been talking about it for like two, three years. So I finally got it done this past week. So these are some of the things uh, as part of the 75 hard that are not necessarily fitness related that I've also been working on that have been uh, highlights I wanted to share. Now, challenges. Um, I said that I had a goal of putting out another video that was not related to 75 hard uh, this past week. Didn't get around to it. So, you know, look, you guys hold me accountable. I'm not going to say I achieved something that I didn't. Uh, I'm going to work on it for this upcoming week. So, you know, sometimes we don't reach our goals. Um, but, you know, my plan is to try to do one this upcoming week before my final 75 heart update. And again, I'm going to go back to doing, uh, you know, general wellness and mental health related and psychiatry related topics once this is over again. And, you know, it's crazy. I've been getting a lot more views and a lot more comments on like my alcohol withdrawal video, depression video. So thank you for those people who have been watching those. I know I've gotten a lot of comments, um, you know, and mentions about, you know, make more videos about psychiatry, make more videos about general wellness. And I will. I promise I'm going to get back to doing that in full swing once this is over in a couple weeks. So uh, those have been some of my updates. Now challenges for the future. I'm already trying to think ahead. Um, my habit has been yo-yoing. You know, I do something like this to kind of jumpstart getting healthy, losing weight, eating better. And then I just kind of go back and fall back to my old habits. I'm already trying to brainstorm. I'm talking with my wife. How do I maintain this time? And how do I just kind of stay in a healthy lifestyle and not just kind of go through kind of a fad, um, you know, phase of exercise or eating right and then just kind of fall back once I hit a certain number. So I don't want to be so focused on, you know, I lost this many pounds and then just kind of go back to doing what I usually do, which is eating like crap and uh, being lazy. So <laughs> uh, trying to already think ahead and that's one of my challenges for this, uh, these upcoming two weeks is once I kind of finish the 75 hard, I don't want it to be like, ah, oh, I'm done and not be healthy anymore. It's how do I sustain and maintain this for the rest of my life? So that's a challenge, but something I'm going to be thinking about. All right, so let's jump into it. So the Amazon gift card giveaway rules. Okay, so first of all, even if you have been a previous winner, you are eligible to win this giveaway. So anyone uh, can win this. Now, <coughs> look, there will be one winner for a $100 gift card and two runners up for a $50 gift card each, okay? So in order to qualify and be eligible to be selected as one of these random winners, first, you have to subscribe to my YouTube channel you also have to subscribe to uh, my Instagram account, um, you know, at Andrew Kim MD, and I'll put that in the details below. And after you subscribe to my YouTube channel, after you subscribe to my Instagram channel, uh, you also have to, you know, tag two friends in the Instagram account. So you can kind of basically look, help me grow uh, my following here on YouTube, and help me grow my following on Instagram. So again. You subscribe here on YouTube, you subscribe on Instagram, and you tag two friends on Instagram to check out one of my posts. Um, and if you do that, you are eligible to be one of the contestant winners. Uh, just let me know that you've done that. And uh, look, on my final update video two weeks from now, I'll give my final updates. Um, I will give my final before and after pictures, and I will announce the $100 Amazon gift card winner and the two $50 Amazon gift card runner-ups. So look, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, let me know what kind of healthy things you guys are doing as we kind of wrap up this 75 hard challenge series. This is Dr. Andrew Kim. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are staying motivated. Hope you guys are doing something healthy for yourself, physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Be safe, everybody. Tune in for the final 75 hard update and before and after pictures on my next video. Dr. Andrew Kim, signing off.